At this time, I want to turn it over to our, our uh, moderator, Mr. Bennett. And again, if you have a question that you want answered, just put it, on, we'll put it on a card, and they'll come around and pick it up, and we'll continue to roll. So uh, this is our version of the Lincoln-Douglas debates, and uh, Steve's going to take it over from here. Thank you, Steve. I believe the coin toss was won by uh, Andy, and so he will give the first uh, state class. Thanks, Steve. My name is Andrew Meyer, and I am the Democratic candidate uh, for state representative in House District 16. They can offer our district the best chance of taking this seat back for Democrats and then provide true leadership for the Democrats uh, in the state house. Now, I have the endorsements of uh, most of the local district Democratic leaders who know what it takes for a Democrat to win in our district locally. Um, you can look at, for my literature or, or my webpage for a full list, but ultimately, uh, this race isn't about endorsements. It's not about other people telling you who you should vote for. Uh, that's a stereotype of Cuyahoga County politics, and we've moved beyond that as a district, as a, as a region. We deserve more than that. We deserve the best candidate uh, for, uh, for this uh, seat. Uh, we deserve the candidate that can beat Nan Baker and then bring true leadership to the issues that we care about as a region. I know that I'm that candidate, and here's why. I have a background uh, as a former prosecutor, and as a, uh, as a political and legal reformer that will be, uh, that, uh, will be looked, upat, looked upon well to swing voters uh, in the general election. But ultimately, it's not biography uh, that counts in races like these. The number one uh, issue is good old-fashioned hard campaign work, and that's what I can give better than anyone. I am putting together a, a field campaign that this, this, that this district has never seen before. I've contacted uh, thousands and thousands of people. Many of the people in this audience have probably received a phone call or a door knock from me. I've called more than 10,000 people personally, thousands more people through uh, door knocks. And I can tell you, through talking to so many people over the course of this campaign, this race is not going to be about a single issue. Uh, there are so many different uh, residents in this district that have so many different concerns. Um, they want a, a representative who will uh, work with energy and passion and creativity on all of their issues. Uh, now, I worked hard against the ridiculous Senate Bill 5. Even while I was campaigning for myself, I worked hard to defeat that bill. Um, but uh, other issues such as fracking, such as the cut to school services uh, that has, has come down from the state, uh, and, and simply a tiredness of politics as usual are all front and center in people's minds. And frankly, jobs and the economy is the number one issue that people still like to talk about when I'm talking with them. Now, I'm the candidate with new ideas on the economy, with, with new ideas on the economy and all these other issues. Uh, the, the, the state government right now is filled with tax credits that are unproductive, that have no real sense of planning or purpose. I want to bring purpose back to the state government. I want to take, get rid of these bad tax incentives right now, use the money we save to that where it should go, for, to our local schools, to new tax incentives that are well planned, to biomedical research and technology, green jobs, growth sectors of the new economy, areas that we're already strong in as a region. Um, our district needs new leadership for our region. I've pushed for reform within my own Democratic Party uh, when it wasn't always popular. I'm the new leader that will bring needed reform uh, to our region to help it recapture and develop its solar vitality. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to the Westside Democrat Media Group and the local clubs who have made this event possible. I'm honored to be here tonight to offer you the opportunity to get to know me, to hear my views on the issues tonight, and offer you a chance to know who I am, what I'm about, and so that I can make the case to you tonight that I am the candidate who can beat Nan Baker and take back the 16th District for Democrats. As you hear the candidates speak tonight, I don't expect that you will find much difference in our positions on the issues. I'm pretty confident that you will find that Andy and I are both sincere in our commitment to the principles that unite our party. The distinction I ask you to make is not who is the better Democrat, but who is ready to lead and who can beat Nan Baker in November. I believe that I am that candidate. Many of you know me, but for those of you who don't, here's what I bring to this campaign. I'm a Navy veteran, public school teacher, a husband and a father with three small children. I was born in Cleveland, the son of an iron worker and a stay-at-home mother. 
I grew up in Northeast Ohio, and I lived here until I joined the Navy in 1990. I served in the first Gulf, Gulf War and earned my bachelor's and my master's degree while I was on active duty. In 1998, I left active duty and I began my career as a Cleveland public school teacher. I currently teach computer programming at Max Hayes High School on Cleveland's west side. My wife and I are Westlake residents and have owned a home here for over a decade. We are a typical middle class family, middle class working class values, and we believe, and I believe, that Ohio can be better. We can do better for our schools, we can do better for our families, for our workers, our communities. I believe that Ohio can be great again. That's why I'm running for state representative. Senate Bill 5, that is the issue that you will hear me talk about on the campaign trail. That is the issue the Plain Dealers cited when they gave me their endorsement in this past Sunday's newspaper. Senate Bill 5 was the great overreach that showed just how extreme the Republican Party is and how united and how powerful the Democratic Party can be when we are united. I was a leader in the fight against Senate Bill 5 in my union, and I am in this candidate who, and I am the candidate who could bring the energy and the resources of the coalition that defeated Senate Bill 5 to this race. Nan Baker will lose this race if she is held accountable for her position on Senate Bill 5. I want you to leave tonight convinced that I am the candidate who has the maturity, life experience, and leadership qualities that you look for in your state representative. For the past 20 years, I have served my country, my community, my family, and my schools with honor. I'm excited about what lies ahead, and I'm ready and eager to serve again as the next representative of the 16th District. Thank you.